Good morning class 1. Welcome to your value education class children. So today we will start with a new chapter and the name of the chapter is uh, Kind Acts. Okay, it is chapter 13. So open your book at page number 4747. So this is the chapter. Okay, so page number is 4747. So what is the name of the chapter? Kind acts. What is the meaning of kind? To be kind to somebody. When we are generous to someone. When we care about someone. That is we are kind to that person. Isn't it? So what is the opposite of kind? It is cruel. Isn't it? Here and here acts means actions. So what are generous actions towards other? Our generous deeds towards other? There are many animals around us just like us. They also feel happy, angry and sad. So see in our surrounding, uh, all around us, there are not only human beings, there are animals also like cat, dog, horse, uh, cow, etc. So they also feel happy angry sad they also have the emotions that those we have we have the emotions of anger happiness sadness sorrow isn't it so the same they also have but they cannot speak so they are not able to express their feeling we can speak we can spray express our feelings but they are animal and they cannot uh, express they cannot uh, speak so they are unable to express their feelings so they help us in many ways we should be kind to them they can become our good friends so as they cannot express it doesn't mean that they don't have the emotions of happiness sad they get though they don't get hard isn't it they are like us they have got all the feelings that we do isn't it but they cannot express so you shouldn't think that they are not expressing so we can do any harsh with them isn't it? We should not. We cannot. So we should, as they help them uh, us in many ways. So we should be kind to them, as and they can become our good friends, and then they can they can become our good friends. So on the basis of that, there is a story like Androcles and the lion. Androcles and the lion. Long time in Rome, there was a cruel merchant. Long back, there was a cruel merchant who was not kind. Okay, he was cruel, very harsh, very rough. So in Rome, Rome is a place where there was a merchant. His name was uh, he was he was uh, he was very cruel. Okay, the merchant had a slave. He had a slave means his servant. Okay, so slave his name was Androcles and his slave's name was Androcles. His master always ill-treated him. His master used to ill-treat him. Means he used to uh, behave badly with his slave. Okay, bonded labor. They are called slaves and bonded laborers. Now his master was always ill, uh, uh, means very harsh towards him. One day he ran away from his master. So he was very depressed, very sad and he ran away. Okay, after walking for a long time, he reached the forest. After walking for a long time, he reached the forest. And he took shelter in a cave. And then he took shelter in a cave. Okay, then what happened? Uh, come to the next page, page number 48. After some time, a wounded lion entered the cave. After some time, a wounded lion, a lion was there, it entered the cave. The lion was groaning in pain and it was in pain and it was groaning in pain. Androcelis saw that there was a big thorn in the lion's paw and Androcelis, he saw that there was a big thorn which was struck in the lion's paw. He took out the thorn and cleaned the wound. Then Androcelis, he took out the thorn and cleaned the wound. Out of gratitude, the lion licked his feet and out of gratitude, the lion licked his feet. Slowly, they became friend and slowly, they became friend and they lived together for many days and they lived together there for many days. One day Androcelis was caught and one day Androcelis he was caught. Okay, the merchant men took him to the merchant and the merchant men they caught him and then they took him to the merchant. As a punishment uh, for running away he was thrown before a lion a uh, hungry lion and as he ran away from his merchant uh, master's house he was given punishment and what was the punishment the punishment was that he was thrown before a hungry lion a lion who was very hungry and Rosalis was put behind that person was thrown before that person uh, that uh, sorry hungry lion the lion looked at him and started licking his feet instead of eating. Okay, the lion looked at him, looked at the person, Miss Androcelis, and started licking his feet. It was the same lion and the lion, it was the same lion whom Androcelis has helped in the forest. And it was the same lion whom Androcelis, Androcelis once helped in the 
forest. The merchant was pleased to see this, and the merchant he was very happy to see this, and he said, "Androsel is free." And then the merchant said, "Androsel is free." Okay, this is the moral. Ah, uh, this is the story. And what is the moral of the story? We are rewarded for your kind act. Once this person, Miss Androselis, he helped the lion. So the lion did not, ah, uh, did not eat the person. Eat Androselis. Rather, he was licking his feet. Okay. So if you are good to someone, they will also do good to you some day or else. Okay. This is the end of the story. And the moral is: we are rewarded for our kind. X. So this is the end of the chapter. The question answers and back exercises we'll do in the next class. Thank you and have a nice day.